Hi everyone, I'm Janice from Singapore and I run the 2am dessert bar in Holland Village as well as uh, Janice Wong Singapore. We've got outlets in um, Singapore as well as in Japan and uh, we look forward to cooking with you today. So this is a really straightforward easy recipe, i like to share that with you because all you need to do is just choose your chocolate wisely. Uh, what we're making today is the chocolate bark. So it's uh, really easy because all you need to do is temper your chocolate and uh, either you can choose your favorite ones from dark, milk, white or even ruby. So I've got you know, my pot ready, I've got water in the pot and um, I'm actually boiling the water, you can see it. And here I've got some chocolate as well. Here I've chosen a single origin, 72% from Equator. It's really nice and floral. Now this, this dark chocolate here, basically, you know, it's really good because um, you, you just really want to pair your chocolate really well with your inclusions. So what I've picked up today is this really nice floral chocolate. And I've got, um, for texture, I've got cocoa nibs, pecan nuts, also some crunchy cokes. I've also got sea salt as well. Now for my inclusions, for flavor, I've got tea. I've chosen O'Grey tea as well as some candied orange and also a floral note from Tonka beans. Uh, tonka beans gives this really nice aromatic notes and I think it pairs perfectly well with dark chocolate. If you have these tablets, um, these molds, it's even better still. You can even do like um, tablets from it and we're going to show it to you today. So first step, choose your chocolate, pick your inclusions, have them all ready. And the tools that you need is basically um, a chocolate spatula like this, like a scraper. You would need a palette like this and maybe some wet wipes, cloth. What I'm showing here today is I have an acrylic board because you know not everybody has a marble table at home. Uh, we've got a marble table as well but I just want to show you that you can actually do it on any clean surface if you don't have a marble top at home. And it's really not that difficult to temper chocolate. Um, you want to keep it as clean as possible, don't really need gloves. Um, and I'm just going to show you the technique to do that today. So first step, I'm going to bring my chocolate to um, about 50 degrees, 45 to 50 degrees. Okay, so this takes about a minute. So just watch it really closely. So we are ready. Just gonna make sure the surface is really clean. Um, that's kind of what you want to do. Just make sure there's no water at all. And of course, if water touches your, your if water basically touches your chocolate, um, yes, it will cause a lot of blooming effect. Um, it's not going to be the prettiest chocolate. You want this nice clean shine on it. And um, what, what you can do is you can make it into a chocolate mousse. Um, we've got also water chocolate mousse recipes in our book. And then you can actually use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour about two thirds onto my plate here. And then I'm going to reserve one third in a bowl. In that, in that sense, I'm going to bring this down to 27 degrees and with one third in the bowl, I will bring it back up to 31 degrees without having to actually um, heat it up again. So that's one trick you can use. Just going to make sure that you wipe it really dry and we're going to start our tempering. So why do we need to temper chocolate? So basically, we need to temper because you know there's this um, this cocoa butter inside uh, chocolate and cocoa butter has um, different types of crystals there's about six different types of crystals all together and you just really want the better crystals to be um, really nice small and um, with a really strong structure so by melting this down to 50 degrees what I'm doing is I'm basically um, melting down these crystals that are not so good okay so by melting those crystals away i'm left with um, the strong bit of crystals okay and by bringing it down to 27 degrees that's what that's what i'm gonna do then i form these really nice strong structures of the better crystals so you want that um, nice strong better crystals because you want a nice snap in your dark chocolate what you also want is um, you want this nice shine. So let's just say 
if I bring, if I heat up chocolate and then I melt it down and I just cast it in here, it's just not gonna come out. Uh, reason is because you, you know, the chocolate contains all these crystals that you want them to to basically sort of solidify and just have them um, really beautifully, um, nicely structured together, so that you have this really nice snap in chocolate. So okay, so what I'm doing here is I I've poured two thirds of my chocolate. I'm just spreading it. Um, you just want to evenly spread it. You don't want to agitate it too much as well. This step takes literally about a minute. So again, very fast, work very, very fast. I'm not in a very cold room. I'm in an aircon room and my temperature now is about 23, maybe 22 degrees. I should be in a colder room, but again, you know, not everybody at home has a very cold temperature. So we're, we're basically, um, making this recipe just so that you can also enjoy doing this at home if you don't have these tools what are you going to use um, well i think you can find something similar like this it's always nice to have a palette um, like a scraper like this or you can use a um, pastry scraper not a not a difficult thing i don't have one with me right now but it looks like this just without the handle you just need to hold it tight um, how I hold my scraper is I basically just hold it like this um, and then I try not to dirty this part here. So from here to here, I keep it clean always so that I have very clean hands um, every time I work with chocolate. So you just want to keep repeating this step going over and over again like that and always checking your temperature. So 50 to 27 and back to 31. So you can see what we're doing here is to melt. We have already melted away all the crystals that are um, not so good. And we're left with these beta crystals that are, it's B-E-T-A, beta crystals that are really um, going to form this nice structure in your chocolate. And they all come from the cocoa butter. If you don't have, um, you know, one of your, one of these thermometers. What you can do, you can, I mean, this is for for yourself at home, right? So you can just put it under your lip like that, and it's about like thirty degrees. I know it's not too cold and not too hot as well. It's like just nice. So I know that um, that was about thirty degrees, and I do need to bring it down a little bit more. You can also go by sight. I mean, because we're working with chocolate every day. Um, it's quite easy for us to see, for example, once it's ready. If the room is too warm, what you can do is to just maybe leave it a little bit so that it cools down a little bit more, okay? Okay, it's 28.5. I'm just going to bring it down. Now, at um, 2 a.m. dessert bar, we do a lot of chocolate desserts. Also at Janice Wong Singapore, we have uh, lots of uh, different types of chocolate flavors as well. We've, we've actually put chocolate and chili together, chocolate and laksa leaf, which is quite spicy. We've also put it with curry leaves that are really aromatic. Okay, so that's my last step. I'm almost done. And now I'm going to mix it back together with that bowl of um, one third of the chocolate that I've melted. And that should be at 31 degrees. Okay, so Next step, what you want to do is to put it back into the bowl. Okay, slide it all back in there. Now I'm going to move on to my inclusions. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to set it on the tray and I'm also going to set it in this. So it's going to be quite easy. See, So now I have this my bowl of uh, chocolate ready. It's already tempered. It's back to 31 degrees and I have this really nice um, clean um, chocolate as well that doesn't have all these little bits and lumps. Um, that's kind of what you want. And again, checking my temperature. It's back to 30 degrees. 30 to 31 is perfect. gonna be a perfect temper and this texture okay 
So first, on a flat surface, I'm just gonna pour that over. Okay. Now you can shape it in any way you want. You can just do this really nice um, round shape and the thickness of it. Okay, so I want it this thick and I'm also gonna pour some into my bars. Well, this is about 40 grams. Then I'm going to pour all my inclusions inside. So, for these bars, I'm just going to tap it a little, just like that, a gentle tap. Okay. That's all. And I have these beautiful strawberries that I, we have dried by ourselves. You can just put it in the oven, or you can even sun dry these. Strawberry, strawberries super beautiful now I like to put a lot of inclusions because it's just perfect to do that and I'm gonna have my tonka bean over here I'm just gonna put that over I'm just gonna grate that over Now for the next one, I'm actually going to do candied orange with Earl Grey tea. So I've got ready my Earl Grey tea as well. And I'm just going to put the tea leaves into the chocolate. So at this step, this is what you want to do. You want to basically put in as much of the um, inclusions at this step as fast as possible because it hasn't set yet. And you just want that beautiful... Um, color texture flavor don't be afraid to even add more of these tea leaves that you have i've tried it myself and i tell you i crave for more of these it's really awesome next i'm gonna put candied orange on it it's really nice you've got this like beautiful aromatics of the candied orange um, you know, they're sweet and also they um, have this beautiful citrus aromatic to it. And it just goes so well with this chocolate. Again, don't be afraid to add more. Now for the big bark, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have some of these rose petals. Just going to add that all around here. You can have it really nice, fun and messy as well. And then I've got pecan, caramelized pecan. So all you need is also a baking paper at home and you can just um, basically pour it over the baking paper. Chocolate popping candy. Super beautiful. Now you also want to have a bit of color but you know flavor is so important in a chocolate bar. And lastly, sea salt. I use this mountain sea salt. Just want to crack that over. There I have it, I'm almost done. So we did this in about, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and you can take about five to 10 minutes to set the bar, put it, um, just leave it here. And then after that, put it into the fridge. It's perfect. There, thank you very much for joining me. This is our chocolate bar. I'm gonna set it in the fridge and uh, we're gonna show it to you when it's ready. Okay, so the chocolate has been set in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, you know, if you wanna take out of the mold, you can actually um, just see it. It's, uh, it shouldn't stick to the mold at all. And if it does, sometimes you just need to just um, shake it out a little bit and then it can unmold. Um, so this, this is ready. You can also see that um, basically once you lift it up, that should have this really nice snap and also a nice shine to it. It shouldn't have any blue marks around as well if you temper it really well. So we're just gonna unmold it and just have these beautiful bars ready to enjoy. There we go.
And now I'm just gonna snap this so that you can hear it and see the snap. There we go. So, it's a beautiful chocolate bar. That's what we want. And you can enjoy this nice, delicious chocolate bar. And Bach is perfect for a party. And there we go, we have this really beautiful chocolate. I hope you enjoyed the class with me today. Um, again, have fun with all your creations. Choose your chocolate wisely. Also, all the different inclusions. Um, spark your creativity, push your imagination, and have fun. Thank you very much for joining me with the class today. See you soon. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the recipe, the chocolate bark with all these uh, flavors and also textures. Well, thank you very much for joining us today at the Cambridge Life Experience. See you guys soon.